Is renting just throwing away your money? Or is it a smart financial decision to give you flexibility when you don't know what to do? Likewise, is home ownership worth the financial struggle and the constant maintenance? As prices continue to rise day by day, it is more important now than ever for people to get a better understanding of their financial situation. So sit back and relax, as today we're going to be talking about the pros and cons of renting versus buying. Let's go. Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. My name's Evan and if you're new here, I'm a real estate agent and mortgage broker and today we're going to be talking about renting versus buying. Starting off with costs. So for homes, there are costs with the mortgage. So specifically, you have the principal, the interest, the state property taxes, and the insurance. And another thing to consider is when you initially buy the home, you have the cost of the down payment, which comes out of your pocket, and the cost of the closing costs, which also come out of your pocket. So with rent, you don't have a mortgage, but what you do have is monthly payments that you owe to the landlord. In addition, there's other things to consider, like utilities. Uh, so your gas, uh, your electric, uh, your Wi-Fi. Maybe you have to pay a parking uh, fee every single month. Uh, and then other things to consider is when you initially buy the apartment, you have uh, the first month that you have to pay, uh, and then the security deposit that's owed. And also in specific circumstances, depending on the city, the apartment might require you to pay half of the broker's fee uh, to the agent that helped you find your apartment. Another thing to consider is the long-term versus short-term benefits. One of the long-term benefits of owning a home is stability. Your home is not gonna be moving anytime soon. Hopefully you aren't either. So you can have your kids go to the same school district, you can grow a business, you can make friends, you can really grow your lives around this home and not have any issues of having to potentially move. Now one con of home ownership is that the house stays the same size, unfortunately. So if you have plans to expand your family, then either you're gonna to have to do additions to your house, you're gonna to have to be a little bit more cramped, or you might have to move. With renting, renting allows flexibility and freedom of movement. Yes, you're signing a lease for one year, but when that lease is done, you can go anywhere. You can stay in the same place, you can move to in a different building in the city, or you can move to a completely different part of the country of the world. It gives you tons of options to consider. Some cons to consider when renting is that when you pay your landlord every single month, you're not generating any equity in the apartment that you're living in, in contrast to owning a home. Other things to consider is that you might have to have a roommate and hopefully you were agreeable with them. If you're not, good luck. That's a very long time to be with a roommate that you're not in a good situation with. Other things to consider uh, is that every single year the apartment there's a good chance that the price will increase uh, compared to a home where the mortgage stays the same price every single month and every single year. Uh, and lastly, uh, and God forbid, you get evicted. Let's say the landlord has a change of mind or something happens and now you're on the streets. Uh, it's unfortunate and it's unlikely, but it's something that can happen. Responsibilities when it comes to home ownership, there are tons. When it comes to internal maintenance, you have your boiler, your furnace, making sure that you redo the paint every once in a while, changing light bulbs, uh, dusting, making sure everything's clean and in order. Uh, external maintenance could be cutting the grass, making sure that any trees on your property aren't going to hit your house, making sure that the siding is attached properly, making sure that there's no holes in the roof. And if there are holes in the roof, paying to get a new roof. All of these things are that come with home ownership aren't cheap. A new furnace, a new roof, a new boiler, they can all be in the tens of thousands of dollars and it's on you. No one else is going to be paying for that. So when it comes to home ownership, these are things you need to consider. When it comes to renting, there really aren't that many things to maintain. It's the landlord's building, so it's the landlord's responsibility to make sure that everything is up to snuff. As long as you do what you're supposed to do and don't break anything and treat it as if it was your own, then you should be fine. And if there are any issues, you call the property manager or you call the landlord and they deal with it and it's usually out of their pocket. 
Market conditions, another thing to consider when either buying or renting. Right now in 2023, interest rates are much higher than they were two years ago. In this situation, it might make sense to rent for now until the interest rates go down and it's more favorable to buy. In contrast, you know, if it was 2021 again, it might make more sense to buy a home than rent because the interest rates were so low. Another thing to consider is location. If you want to move to a city or a state that tons and tons of people already live in and want to move to, you have to expect that the prices are also going to be pretty high compared to a state or a city where not as many people want to live in. Also, you have to be aware of if it's a buyer's market or a seller's market, which in a sense means that in those two situations, either the buyers have more power or the sellers have more power, meaning you're going to have to either pay more than what's listed or you could bargain and pay less than what's listed. And lastly, but probably most importantly, your personal financial situation. Now, in regardless of what you do, if you're buying a home or if you're renting an apartment, you're going to need good credit. So working on your credit is probably one of the biggest and most important things for you to do. The next thing to consider is do you have enough money saved up? If you were to lose your job and you had to continue to make these payments, would you be able to make these payments or would you be in crisis mode? Another thing to consider is can you afford your mortgage or your rent with the other expenses that you have per month? Yes, the mortgage and the rent aren't going to change every single month, but guess what? You still have to eat. You still have to get to work. You're still going to have to hang out with friends and all of that. There's other expenses that you're going to accrue every month. And if your home mortgage or your rent and your expenses are more than what you make, you're in a problem. You're in a bad situation and you need to figure that out before you lock yourself in with a contract. Regardless of where you are in the process and what you end up deciding, just remember that there's no one size fits all answer. As long as you do the research and look at the pros and cons, your financial situation, and potentially talk to some professionals and end up making a decision that you think is best for you, then that's fine. Because just remember, a home is more than just a physical space to sleep and eat and watch TV. It's a place where you grow as a person, potentially raise a family and hang out with friends. It's, it's a part of your life more than you think it is. So please take the time to make the right decision because it matters more than you think it does. Thanks for watching. If you liked what you saw, then click the video here. Also, if you haven't subscribed, consider doing so, liking the video and hitting the bell icon so you don't miss any future videos.